San Jacinto, California. Have you heard of San Jacinto, California? Well, if you haven't, in this video, I'm gonna be going over the pros and the cons of living in San Jacinto, California. I'm gonna give you the good, the bad, and the ugly. The advantages, the disadvantages, right? And if you stick around until the end, I'm gonna share a market recap of the current real estate market here in San Jacinto, California. So let's get after it right now. So if this is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything that there is about living, eating, breathing, playing in San Jacinto, California, then subscribe below, tap that bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market in San Jacinto, California. Now, my name is Jonathan. We get calls, texts, emails every single day from people just like you looking to make their move. And we absolutely love it. So whether you're deciding to move in nine days or even 90 days, you could always give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email or schedule a Zoom down below. We'll love to help you make that smooth move to San Jacinto, California. But also, if you're looking to move out of San Jacinto for whatever reason, you can always give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. We'll love to help you make that smooth out of San Jacinto as well. And we can relocate you to some awesome places as well, right? Now, what I really wanna to talk to you is again, I wanna get into the nitty and gritty of what San Jacinto has to offer. But before I do that, I wanna give you a little bit of insight of San Jacinto because ultimately that's what you came for, right? So just to let you know, the population in San Jacinto, it's not that big. It's a little less than 60,000 people, right? Some of the cool things that people love and enjoy about San Jacinto is the outdoor recreation. The city is surrounded by beauty, just including the San Jacinto mountains and nearby parks. You can enjoy hiking, mountain biking, camping, scenic locations, a whole lot of others. Not to mention, don't forget about Saboba Casino, right? Offering gaming and entertaining options, including slot machines, table games, restaurants, live music events. A lot more, right? And also, you can't forget downtown San Jacinto. It's just a cool little historic place where a lot of people like to uh, go around definitely has that small town atmosphere right uh down the road you also have diamond valley lake if you're interested in diamond valley lake you know and you just want to go for a short drive to a lake somewhere that is definitely an option for you so that's just some of the cool you know entertaining things that san jacinto has to offer not to mention hey if you enjoy golfing look i've never really been into golf ever in my life until recently until i found out how peaceful and just it's fun it's really really fun actually you know it sounds boring just you know with a stick and a ball right but no there's so much more to golf than just like hey hitting you know the ball with the stick or trying to it's actually really really you know enjoyable so if that's something that you're into let's not forget that they do have some country clubs there at the Sebova, uh springs uh, and a scenic golf course in the area as well and maybe you're not into all that and you just like the historic part of it San Jacinto Museum that right it provides information and history of the culture in the region. Uh, also, let's not forget local events. You definitely can always check local events, community fair events, uh, festivals that may take place during your visit while you go there. Dining is another thing. San Jacinto offers a variety of dining options. So, you know, from casual eateries to literally more upscale restaurants. So you can literally savor a range of cuisines and flavors in San Jacinto. Let's not forget at the wineries. You can explore nearby wineries and vineyards. The Temecula Valley wine region is not far whatsoever from San Jacinto and you know it's known for its wine tasting opportunities so that's another big feature right. I can just go on and on and on about the list of things that there is to do in and around the city of San Jacinto. Well with all that being said definitely want to jump into the dessert of this right. Your pros the good right before I jump into 
into the ugly your veggies right now i'm just kidding if you're any vegetarians out there i don't mean that as an insult so i'm just messing around now let's really get into the pros now pro number one is affordable housing just plain and simple san jacinto tends to just have more affordable housing options compared to many other parts here in southern california so it definitely makes it an attractive choice you know if you're looking to buy a home or you know rent on a budget as well number two i've said it already it's a small time feel right and i'm naming that as a pro because being in southern california there's not a lot of small town feels around here because you know the proximity to the larger cities like riverside la it's just a small time atmosphere so that can be just very appealing if you prefer a sense of community and i've said pro number three it's definitely the scenic beauty the city's just surrounded by just picturesque natural beauty you know you can see it on the way over there including the san jacinto mountains outdoor enthusiasts you're gonna find opportunities just for hiking biking camping doing all types of things and this past winter was actually one of the most beautiful winters i've ever seen in san jacinto because yes we did have a wetter winter right as expected and so we or so we're gonna have it this year as well and those beautiful san jacinto mountains when they were capped with all that snow it was just extremely appealing it was beautiful i mean i'm you know i love scenic and i and i love just nature so that's a me thing right now if you're not an outdoor enthusiast no big deal there's still other options for you again diverse dining options if you're a foodie right i'm a lot of things i love my food you know it offers a variety of dining options including again local eateries you know chain restaurants catering to you know arrangings of different tastes now that's pro number four right there now pro number six it's it has mild climate so that's one of the great many features of San Jacinto, right, is it has that mild climate. So what is that mild climate? You know, you have warm summers and you have relatively cool winters. It just makes it a comfortable place to live for people who enjoy a temperate climate. So that's really, really good. Now, did I say pro number six? If I didn't, this is pro number six and your final pro of living in San Jacinto, California. And that's the proximity to job opportunities you know for larger markets so like i stated san Jacinto, you know it's it's within the commuting distance of larger job markets such as riverside such as los angeles right it makes it feasible to live in a more affordable area while still accessing employment opportunities in nearby cities now work within San Jacinto that's a little bit different conversation that I'm going to go into the cons about and so with all that being said let's jump into our cons con number one and this is going to caveat off pro number six and that is that it has limited job opportunities within the city itself right so while there is employment opportunities within commuting distance, San Jacinto itself does have limited job options, which may be a drawback if you're seeking work in the immediate area. Con number two, right? While it does have mild, mild weather, right? There is times during the summer that those mild weathers, and I'm not going to deny this, can get a little bit uncomfortable. And we will see it time and time again, like we did this past summer, where you can have, you know, a summer where two weeks out of the whole summer is just blazing hot. So that's also something to consider. It is majority of it is mild weather, but you can experience some high temperatures, kind of contradictory in itself absolutely but i'm trying to tell you the honest truth here and so that is going to cover con number two now con number three and that's going to that's going to be the traffic congestion so the region can experience just traffic congestion especially during peak commute hours right and as residents often travel to like literally neighborhood uh, neighborhood cities for work you're definitely going to experience that if you're coming back from one of these said areas such as riverside or los angeles county things of that nature right and so that's going to finish off con number three now con number four and that's going to be 
its limited culture and entertainment options. While San Jacinto offers some recreational activities, I'm not gonna lie, it does lack the culture and entertainment amenities found in larger cities, right? Which might be disappointing for those who are seeking a vibrant like culture or scene like woo, 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 right type of city. You're not gonna get that there. And that's me fist pumping. But <laughs> at any rate, no, you just really won't get that option there. If you want that, you're probably gonna end up going to Temecula or maybe like Riverside, you know, those type of vibrant cities where there there is more options when it comes to maybe the nightlife, etc., and stuff like that. So that that's gonna cover pro number four. Now moving on to pro number five. Now pro for number five, I save this one for last because I think it is one of the more important cons and I definitely wanted to cover it. And that is a educational options. Now the city has a limited educational institutions and the quality of schools, they're gonna vary. You know, families with children, you should research your schools in the area. Ultimately, the decision to move to San Jacinto, you know, depends on your individual priorities and circumstances. Consider factors like your job prospects, lifestyle, tolerance for, you know, extreme heats during the summer, whether you value a small time atmosphere or you want to conduct a thorough research, you know, visit the area. You know, you got to weigh the pros and the cons to determine if San Jacinto is the right place for you and your family ultimately i think it's a great area it's definitely expanding it's definitely blowing up that right there was all the pros and the cons of living in san jacinto california now what i want to do is just share with you a little market recap of what's going on in san jacinto california so let's get after that market recap So market recap time. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Those were all the pros and all the cons, the good and the bad, the ugly, right? So San Jacinto overall, it is a great city and there is a lot going on. There is currently a lot of building going on because it is blowing up and I'm not gonna deny that. There's constantly new construction after new construction being built, whether it's a residential home or whether they're trying to bring more local small businesses to the area. San Jacinto can definitely be a great option for you if you're looking for affordability in housing because they just have it available. So just a prime example, I'm gonna let you know. Currently, I do have a good friend of mine moving to the San Jacinto area looking to get a brand new home well a four bed three bath at four hundred and sixty five thousand dollars is not gonna be able to get you know 10 minutes down the road in Menifee or Marietta Temecula Riverside Corona right all these other places so it's definitely one of more the affordable cities when it comes to housing and not just buying or you know selling but also renting the rental market is a little bit more lenient compared to these other bigger cities so overall the market is great I I do enjoy San Jacinto and I definitely see a lot of pros and I and I definitely see you know some of the cons as well but in my personal opinion the pros definitely outweigh the cons and I see it time and time again while I help a lot of people move to the area I just believe in my whole heart that it is a great city and it is up and coming so that's going to cover everything for this video if you have questions or comments definitely comment down below I'd love to get your feedback or maybe some of your take of what you think San Jacinto, California is like. Thank you for watching. Living in South California.